Hello friends, today I will explain you the different types of computers. Before going into the different types of computers, first we have to see what is computer. Computer is an electronic device which receives the information from input devices such as keyboard, mouse and process that information using processor and display that its result on the screen. The device whichever has microprocessor which is shown in this figure that is AMD, Athlon or Intel such devices is known as computer. We have different types of computers namely desktop, personal computer, laptop, mainframe, supercomputer, servers, workstation, tablet computers, smartphone and variable computers. Desktop is a system permanently located at one place. It might be located at desk or sometime on table. This type of computers provides high storage and it has high power backups and it is versatile and it is also cheaper compared to laptops. Since it is fixed at one places, it is very difficult to move from one place to another place. Personal computer. The name indicates personal computer. It is designed for single usage that is for one person. Earlier, the personal computers were known as microcomputers. The personal computers, example for the personal computer I have shown here, Apple iPad is an example of personal computer. These computers are quite portable. It can be easily moved from one place to another place. Now coming to the laptop, one of the most usable device. Laptop is also known as notebook. Laptop consisting of its own display, keyboard, pointing devices such as mouse, trackball. It has also has its own processor, memory, hard drive. Usually the laptops are operated on battery. In the figure, we can see that the CEO of Apple company holding the MacBook. This is an, a classic example of laptop. Now coming to the mainframe computer, it is also known as enterprise servers. These computers are very huge computers which can acquire, sometimes occupy entire room or entire floor. These are large in size, hence it consumes large power. This, since it is large in size and large power, hence it is used to perform some millions of transactions every day. Many times it is being used in the banking sector to process, to process many transaction data many financial transaction data. The one of the best example for the mainframe computers are IBM systems at Fujitsu Hitachi. IBM is one of the big MNC which provides services in mainframes. Supercomputer. The name itself is indicates it is super. It costs around hundreds of thousand dollars, sometimes even millions of dollars. This is a computer in which the many parallel computers are connected together to form a single computer. Hence, it is very powerful. It is the fastest and expensive computer. And it can be used to perform a trillions of calculations per second. The best known supercomputers are built by Cray supercomputers. Now coming to the server. It is also a computer. Usually, it is connected over a network. And these servers has its own powerful processors, memory and large hard drives. These servers enables other computer to share its resources information and assume that in a network 10 computers are connected together with the server. All 10 computers can share their information, can store their information over a server. Nowadays we know that different companies like Google Facebook, Yahoo, Twitter, WhatsApp has their own server in order to save the user information. Coming to the workstation, workstation is also a desktop computer which has more powerful processor, additional memory and enhanced capability to perform special tasks. Many times it is used for the 3D graphics to develop the games. Usually it has multiple screens and it is mainly used for 3D graphics and game developments. Tablet computers. Tablet computers are ultra portable computer device. 
it is quite smaller compared to the traditional laptops and it is quite cheaper compared to traditional laptops it uses in the internal components are quite less powerful compared to the uh, regular laptops the tablet can perform different tasks such as to view hd videos high, to listen high quality sound to process to process photos and it also has ability to share the information and videos with anyone we can see its picture here the different tablets smartphones the smartphones nowadays are inseparable part of our life it is handheld devices it uses flash memory instead of hard drive we know that desktop laptop and other computer uses the hard drive whereas in smartphone we use flash memory this is another fastest memory compared to the hard drive it uses the touch screen as input devices and it process its information using processor and display again its result on the touch screen it is quite smaller compared to even a paperback novel and it is quite lightweight and it's quite reasonable and it has its own battery with different power ranges the smartphone has a capability to perform different tasks such as to make a phone call to send a text emails process videos nowadays we have the different varieties of smartphone with the feature that can compete with conventional computer at the last variable computers the name indicates variable computers that means the computer can be wear on hand wrist eyes sometime even on the clothes this can perform the various tasks such as in order to send email to schedule your calendar and this can be wear on the watches cell phones visors sometime even on the clothes so what are all the application of these variable computers this can be mainly used in health and fitness in the health whenever we walk over a distance we can calculate the number of steps number of calories calories burned and even it is also used in navigation while traveling from one location to another location with the help of google map it help us to track a location and it's also used in social networking and gaming google glass is a classic example of variable computer which enables a user to send his voice message over internet through his glasses in figure we can see that we have different types of variable computer the variable computer can be used to calculate the fuel the number of steps you have walked and to check the timer and this is an also example this is also an example of variable computer that is smartwatch now it's time to ask a question write your answer in the comment section and please let me know its answer the first question is which is the first supercomputer of india and which is the world fastest supercomputer i hope you like this session please subscribe like comment on my channel and please please press bell icon to get a regular notification for my new videos thank you Thank you.